the network planning group in government of india recently we were discussing uh, certain projects and the defense representatives were there and they were making precisely this point uh, and they were well noted by the infrastructure ministries and they said they take care similarly in the state we have the network planning group and the uts also have so they should also whenever they are discussing projects with the uh, you know state departments they would also like to coordinate uh, interface platform, uh, e-logs and uh, SIG. So these have been uh, part of the national logistics policy and we have touched upon these points in our UT logistics policy as well. Yes. So e-log comes the most important thing. Why this? this okay, because uh, this is real work then. All yes, the departments working on the identified issues, yes, that is real work. So we try to identify so these are the non fiscal incentives. We are uh, going towards a central, uh, single integrated approval mechanism for setting up units for logistics sector. We are allowing 24-7 operations of active transport numbers on PPP model. We also want to promote containerization of domestic cargo and uh, as we analog it. So and it is a live document. We meant to identify new issues. It is put in the plan. It is once it is modified, it is taken out of the plan. So it's a complete uh, feedback mechanism of planning and monitoring. Next please. Every chapter to see where which department is responsible for what activity throughout the policy. Next please. And mechanism. Just like uh, we have a tier mechanism in Rajesh uh, we have already a tier mechanism in the state where we have a state logistics coordination committee headed by the Honorable Chief Secretary. Then we have a state logistics cell. And further down, uh, to freight. Because it is a draft, you can integrate this inland waterway transport, which is very useful for your tourist economy, cargo transport, and all. Mechanism to monitor the implementation of the policy. Thank you. One observation. So we are trying to go over it above and provide the best of the incentives which we can to uh, invite uh, more players in the sector. So the implementation framework of this uh, logistics policy will be in line with uh, the framework which has been formed under the Lati Shakti uh, scheme. So it will be, uh, involve a lot of input from the uh, PWP and r and department also. So we have also considered their infrastructure projects which are in the pipeline so that we can also uh, help the logistic policy be developed with the in the past there are a lot many policies which change and lot of investors they lost their capital in this so it happened so but this government is has been very steadfast and you know promoting a singular and a cohesive way of moving forward so as you mentioned I have already spoken about, but it's very important to have a demand-driven approach to infrastructure planning. So you must map your freight flows, your origin and destination, and where are the passengers, if there's a tourist destination, but when people go there, uh, it could be a religious site, it could be something to do with this tourism, enjoyment, but when people go there, there are traffic jams and there's a lot of inconvenience. How do you plan logistics efficiency? Tourism is a very important part of the economy. It's a growth driver. So how do you make people's life easy using the PM Gati Shakti uh, 